First, let's not put the magnet on. We mainly observe this position. This represents a turn to the water meter flywheel. We'll take a look at this little black wheel later. There are many wheels, including the red one. There is an arrow here to indicate the direction of the water flow. We used a hair dryer to make the water meter spin. Pay special attention to this position, this little black wheel, because all the wheels turn first, then the others will follow, in this case without adding magnets. It has a pretty fast rotation speed. We put the magnet on this and it still has the same speed. It is not affected at all, so why is it useless to attract a strong magnet? Because this is determined by its internal structure. This is its entire internal structure. So why doesn't a strong magnet work on it? Because it's an iron shell. This is an iron ring. This is something that a magnet can attract. All water meter units in it. No matter how hard you try to attract it with a magnet, it won't work. So if you put a magnet on a water meter, at most it will attract the outside of it. No impact on the interior. So it won't affect the water meter. It will not slow down or stop the water meter.